Have you ever wanted your suburban house to go from this to this? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make some simple siding and siding relating things. And at the end of the video, I will show my discovery of siding that looks great and keeps moths from spawning. So stick around to the end, but don't skip to the end just yet because we're going to go through a lot of different siding variants first. Hello everyone, Colin the Mayor Villager here, and in today's episode, I was going to show you how to make some simple siding. Because in my most recent episode of my Let's Play series, Colin's Minecraft Village, I showed a house which has some siding on it. So I thought I'd make a quick video here showing how to make that siding, plus some other options of siding, and kind of a showcasing, and on how to make them. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the example that I have in my farmhouse um, very simple siding here which I'll show how to make and this is basically three different colors just give some example you know I got a white a gray and kind of a cyan blue so how to make this siding? we first need to dig ourselves a little hole because it's easier to do with uh, chisel and bits to make yourself a little hole to be able to you know fit around with all the chisels and bits once you've got yourself a chisel and you just come over here make a tiny little hole in whatever block in this case I'm gonna use some white concrete Concrete powder and white concrete then use your middle mouse button to be able to get the little piece of chisel If you hold the middle mouse button and you're not holding a chisel or a block Then you just pick the whole block up and with a tiny little hole It's not very not very useful Anyway, so then I come over here press alt and then you press plane here and then you can just press two layers Then you get switch to your concrete powder and then just put two and then space and two and so forth then you just switch to a line and fill that in. And once you got that, then just click the middle mouse button again, and there you go. You have your simple siding. Now it's important to add a little like different color variation because if you have the concrete like for both, you have the concrete for the back and for the little lines, it really like when you're looking straight at it, it really does not pop at all. So the other gives it a little bit of texture, some variance, and also has a nice weathered effect. One oddball variant is this one, which is all made out of bone blocks. I just said, you know, you probably shouldn't do because they'd be all the same color um, or like, you know, have the same color as the lines and the background. But the bone blocks are very interesting because, yes, it does kind of look flat from straight on, but it also gives it that nice weathered effect like the rain comes down. And plus the color is like completely spot on and it does pop out a little bit more. Now, obviously the bone block is an exception, but it does look very neat. Now, this is a very simple siding, and I know, obviously, for, like, certain angles, like, when you look right here, you can kind of, your mind kind of puts it together that you, that this is siding, but, you know, obviously, if you get up close to it, you can kind of tell that it's just strips, but that's a lot of things in Minecraft sometimes. When you, like, look into it a little more, you can tell that it's not actually what it seems. But maybe you don't like having the little, like, different color, because it is a slightly different color than the back. And it does have a nice weathered effect, but maybe you don't like that. So let's move on to the next options. Now, these are actually made with no vanilla blocks. These are made with flat color mod. And as you can see, the flat colored blocks mod adds like 2,000. I mean, seriously, I don't know what in the world you're going to heal these for, but like, yeah, you got a lot of options. So you can really make exactly the color of siding you want, and you can just change the shade a little bit lighter. So I, it usually works better, in my opinion, for is changing it a little bit lighter. So whatever you have the background, you change the tone slightly lighter um, for the little uh, strips. And also you have two different types of white here, and then we also got a gray and the same kind of blue, kind of a cobalt blue. Also, one thing I feel like I should point out about the flat colored blocks is look at the different gradients that you can do. Um, I mean, I already talked about that, but like that's just really neat. And also, this is the normal concrete. Yeah, white concrete I thought was white, but it has never looked more dull. And once I compare it to this white, it's like... It's just, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna see it the same, unfortunately. It's always gonna be now very dull. Now moving swiftly on, yeah, I know, I know Grian says that, okay, but every thought we really need to be, just say it once, you know, say this kind of signature catchphrase just once. Anyway, so basically, this are a little bit bigger, you know, I have a little bit bigger doors, and a little bit bigger siding, but, I don't know, like, it's... Obviously, for a bigger scale, I mean, you could use it for just a normal-sized door, but then it doesn't look quite right. 
Um, obviously, it's for a bigger scale kind of idea, but you can add a little more detail into this, which I'll get into in a second. We got the same basic variants, and then the ones with the um, flat colored blocks as well. Okay, to make the bigger sign, you just do the same two layers, then go one, two, three, four pixels with four spaces, and then four pixels again. Now, moving on, these are some different variants of the first variant I showed. Uh, obviously, it's the original one, and then this one is just one layer, so you just basically have one uh, pane kind of layer, and this makes it a little bit not as thick, which does add... I like the, the too thick one, in my personal opinion, but this one could work as well. And then this one is basically indented, so it doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't look the best because of the shadows and stuff, but this could have uses for like when you're trying to like put something on top of it and that could work if you want to have like something you know hang on top of it like shutters or something now how to make the sign which is indented you get rid of the first layer with using a plate and then do the same two space two thing and moving on to the bigger variants, is obviously the same variants I showed before. Now this one, was I'm talking about, got a little more detail to it. If you make a little, like, extra little line, you have it curved a little bit more. So especially, it looks much better, like from right here, you can tell it's kind of a curve on top of one another. Of course, when you get close, it looks a little bit off, but it's not quite as off, in my opinion, as the smaller variant, which is right here. Which, in my opinion, is just a little bit too sticking out, but you could like that variant. And for the bigger variant, I also have it with the flat colors mod as well, which also looks quite nice. And you make those variants very simple by just placing a little dot there and then making a line, and that adds the little bit of a depth to it. Now, if you want to make a little bit more detail to the bigger sightings, then just take the concrete powder and just do two dots, then add the lines. But there might be a situation, like in townhomes, where the two signs are going to connect. So I'll show you how to make this right here. So place it down, and then switch it to line, and get rid of three pixels all the way down. Once you got that, bring it over, and then get a little piece of the... It could be either, either the back or the front. I prefer the front. Then make a little dot right here, and then out a little bit one as well, and then make a straight line on each. You need the little one on the back so that like when you look from the side, it doesn't look quite as strange. It looks like there's a line there. Another situation you might find yourself in is like making a porch and you want stuff to be on it, you know, up against it like a rocking chair or whatever. So basically this one is the same one that I just showed a little while ago where this is indented. So it doesn't look quite as good, but sometimes you have to do that. Now, it doesn't look like there's anything changed here because you can just place the blocks on each side. However, there is a block back here that is important. So just place a block down here and then get rid of the line and then go the two by two pattern like before. Now, it might not seem important, but if I get rid of it and place a normal block, you can see it doesn't look quite right. Now, you might like this look, but I feel like it doesn't look quite right in my opinion. But this is a simpler way and looks good as well. Now, moving on, even if you, this would be in a situation if you have townhouses or just a regular house, you need to have the little pieces on the ends. So, basically, I have one here with gutter and one without. Now, you actually need to make three different things with this. You have to make the actual block of the side and the two side blocks that bump into it. Okay, to make that, you place the whatever sign that you choose on both sides, just in case the standard. Then get what the base is, which in this case is white concrete. And then just make a little kind of square corner at the side then switch to line and push it all up just like so now if you want to add a gutter to it you just switch to the concrete powder you could use concrete i prefer concrete powder because it makes it a little bit difference uh, i do three wide pixels and then make the line down but you could do only two wide pixels and be able to make it that way as well now how to make the siding be able to go up towards the corner, you switch to plate and get rid of the first layer on both sides. Then switch to white concrete and go up to the top and do basically four pixels out. So it'd be sticking out one more pixel than where the lines go out and then get your lines and then go straight down. 
do the same on both sides. And one thing that I almost forgot to show is if you have like two layered siding like right here and you transition it into just where the siding's kind of indented into the block. Um, now obviously this doesn't look the best but you might have to do it in certain situations like you want to put may shutters or light or something or a roof so now we are back on the house that you saw at the start of the video and this is the problem that i came across is i wanted the roof to have you know kind of like the overlap i want to avoid this i could may just make a custom roof with chiseled and bits but i didn't want to take the extra time to be able to do that so instead i just transitioned made a block which is in dented and transitioned it so it doesn't look the best but it does save you that little bit extra time okay to make that you just place whatever sign you choose down switch to plane and get rid of either the left or right side then place the individual box going around it and now do the exact same thing on the right side now, one thing to note is, see, this has a nice smooth transition, and this has a, like, kind of a line with in between the transition. Now, I prefer the first one, but you could like this one. Now, how to get either one of those go back to when we talked about the corner, the one just sticking out is a normal block, while the smooth transition one is a, the custom block that we made just a little while ago, which is this one. Now that you've seen most of the siding variants, let's look at an example from my Let's Play World, Khan's Minecraft Village. Now these are some townhouses that have this first variant of siding that I showed on it. Now I actually have not released the video yet for my Let's Play series adding the siding, so you're actually seeing a sneak peek into a future episode of my Let's Play series. Okay, so here it is from kind of the street view here, and I don't know, I just think it looks very neat it adds so much more like you know depth to the build and you know it also means that you can have different color like inside so like right here for instance you know i have kind of this kind of purplish blue color and then on the outside i've got this kind of cyan blue color okay so you've made it all the way through the video and it's starting to get dark i teased at the start of the video about uh, some magical like powers to it in a way you know and so some siding that keeps Keeps mobs from spawning. Well, yes, I actually did mean that. So this, it doesn't have to be blue, be any color. And the reason why, if we go to the flat colors blocks and scroll down, they actually have glowing blocks. Now this you might know, might not know. I did not know this. I just like the color blue, and it literally start glowing. So it actually, here's like the white line on how much it'll keep mobs from spawning. I mean, this this is really neat in my opinion. It, it's siding. It's siding that looks good, yet also functions. It's, it's, and I just think that's really, really neat. And the same amount of light is given off by this block or any glowing block um, of the same amount of light, which is light level 15, of a sea lantern, torch, and end rod, which is like, this is, I mean, you can make some really neat stuff with this. And like I said, you have so many different colors. I mean, you could have any color sign you want and keeps mobs from spawning near. I mean, that's just really neat. It's like I said before, it's really neat. And if anyone, anyone comes up with this idea that siding that functions as siding and like gives off lights, um, in real life, I'm taking full credit for it. I'm taking full credit for it. And all that you can do is also you can place down the, the glowing blocks to have some nice lights on the floor. But that has nothing to do with a siding. That should be in like, a, you know, hidden light video. Also, in case you think that I'm like somehow faking it, is nothing here. This is obviously a block. I can just like put it right here. It's it's the block. I don't know. It's, it's completely the block. So, you know. You, you can try it out for yourself if you don't believe me. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode. It's kind of just a short little quick um, tutorial and showcasing for the, some different versions of siding in Minecraft. Now, this did take quite a long time to make because I've never made anything like this before. So if you did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. This is, oh man, this is not, this is gone. I was trying to drive the car out of there, but that's, oh man, this is, it's not very good. Oh man, went through the other car. Okay, I was going to try to drive the car. That didn't really work. 
Um, oh man, I'm going through all the cars. Since that didn't work, I'm gonna try one more time. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Now, with the magic of editing, I was able to pull that off. But seriously, though, don't look at yourself while driving. It's even dangerous in Minecraft. And if you did like this video, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this. Also, let me know on any how to build slash showcasings you would like me to do next. Anyway, that's all for now, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.